It's essential that your car tires grip the road. When tire grip is lost, even for a fraction of a second, there's danger of an accident. When there's water on the road, the tire faces an extremely challenging problem. If water slips between the tire and road, direct contact between the two is lost. It's catastrophe. Or not, because the tire is specially designed to evacuate all this water. A tire is actually a spectacularly efficient pump. At 100 kilometers per hour, it's able to pump more than six liters of water per second in order to maintain contact with the road. Okay, but how does it work? The anatomy of a tire is simple, at least in appearance. This rubber donut is a complex combination of more than 120 different materials. Together, they provide flexibility, resistance, and grip. But what makes the tire a rotating pump capable of evacuating a phenomenal quantity of water? The design of the tire grooves. There are four main grooves that make up the circumference of the tire. Then there's a whole series of smaller perpendicular grooves. The empty space in the surface of the tire created by these grooves is what allows it to pump water out from under and maintain direct contact between its surface and the road. Moving forward on a wet surface, the tire pushes the water, which forms a wave in front of it. The wave barely lasts a fraction of a second. It's quickly crushed by the tire. This is the most dangerous moment. The water penetrates the grooves and fills the available space. If the water is not immediately evacuated, the tire could climb onto the water, lose direct contact with the road, and begin skidding. It's the pressure exerted by the car which transforms the tire into a water pump. Thousands of kilos of iron exert immense pressure on the tire, its grooves, and the water they contain. Water does not compress. The space it occupies in the tire flattens under all the pressure, and the water must leave. That's the job of the perpendicular grooves. They connect the main grooves to the sides of the tire. Water, pushed by the crushing pressure of the car, is violently ejected from the tire through the sides. 30% of the water volume entering the tire is pumped out. The other 70% is trapped in the main grooves during the short period of time when that section of tire surface is in contact with the road. When the car is traveling at 100 kilometers per hour, that time is a ridiculously fast 1 150th of a second. And that water too will be ejected from the tire, this time out the back. This is how, using the weight of the car, the tire is transformed into a fast and efficient water pump capable of evacuating six liters of water a second from under a car that's moving 100 kilometers per hour. With four pumps like these, we could fill 12 bathtubs in one minute. But careful now. The faster the vehicle moves, the less efficient the pump become. The faster the tire turns, the shorter the time it's in contact with the road. So it has less time to pump out the same quantity of water. During a torrential rainfall, in order not to exceed the tire's efficiency threshold, it's a good idea to slow down, just a little. At 100 kilometers per hour, the tire evacuates an impressive volume of water. Six liters a second, 12 bathtubs in one minute. A pool in an hour, but only on condition it's not too worn out. When a tire is too worn, its grooves become less and less deep, and so less and less efficient. But thanks to the design of these grooves and the pressure of the car on them, tires in good condition are monstrously efficient pumps that deserve all our admiration.